Oh, now we're going to uh, move on to mounting the battery connector, the battery pack. And you can see that it's uh, marked up on the inside of the battery pack with a plus and a minus. So the plus goes in this hole just here and the minus goes in this hole just here. And the battery pack sits just proud of all the components. So you just put that on until it sits down nice and flush on the components. And then just turn it over and solder it. Very glad that none of these components are falling out on me. I must know that I'm making a movie. It's a nice, nice join. Here's another nice join. Just trim those. And we are very close to being completed. That's our battery pack all connected. Our pencil. Uh, we take the the draw deal kit and we mount it. You know about what, what's that? About an inch from the top of the pencil, something like that. Take the cable tie and we thread it through underneath the battery pack like that and round the back of the battery. Just like that. Be careful not to, not to tighten the cable tie too much. Start making the connections from the draw deal kit into the pencil. So we take some of the copper tape, measure it out, and what we want is basically to connect between that silver tab at the end of the draw deal kit and round the top of the pencil like this. So. Uh, we recommend you don't use scissors here uh, because the metal tape can damage them so we'll just use our standard diagonal cutters and just uh, chop a little bit off to about that length and then peel off the backing and now you've got a nice sticky piece of copper to stick to that pad and over the top of the pencil like that. Then you take the thumbtack that was in the same piece of foam as the 551 timer and you push it all the way into the end of the sense, the end of the pencil. Now what this thumbtack is going to do is it's going to make uh, contact with the metal tape and also the graphite inside the pencil and it's pretty tricky this, you might have to waggle it about somewhat to get it into the end of the pencil. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, maybe three or four inches of copper tape and connect it to the pad on the other side of the sensor. We're going to stick it on diagonally and start wrapping it round and round the end of the pencil. So I'll just peel off the tape. Peeling the tape off the copper is actually the trickiest part of the whole kit. The theory behind this is uh, the copper will make contact with your hand when you're holding the pencil. And that will provide the second part of the, the, the conductivity of the kit. Now, just here and at the other end here, we're going to put a couple of dabs of solder on just to solder that. that make sure that there's a good electrical connection between the copper and those solder pads. We'll go ahead and solder that now. Okay, so here we have the completed draw deal kit uh, with battery installed. So what we're going to do now is uh, test it. And all you do is grip the draw deal, uh, the same way you would be gripping a normal pencil, and just touch your finger to the end of it. And you can see as you get different contact resistances, you change the pitch. So now you can just have fun with it. You draw a nice line on the the piece of paper here. Touch your finger to the end of that line so that your body creates the contact and then start drawing. You can increase the
the pitch by increasing the width of the line, you can decrease the pitch by going along the end of the line or drawing a very thin line. And you can just have fun like that. You can even mark out nice little graduations and make yourself an organ. What he was doing is effectively uh, giving an audible representation of the resistance of this graphite line. So with that in mind, you can actually use it to experiment with uh, some resistors and determine their value uh, by the pitch of the tune. So if we take this resistor here, which is a 47k ohm resistor, hold one end of it, put the other end down so we've got nice uh, contact, something to press against it, you get a pitch. If we now take another identical resistor, 47k ohm, do the same thing, you get the same pitch, indicating that these resistors are the same value. Now if we take these resistors and just twist them together, just very roughly in series, the overall resistance is going to be the 47k plus the 47k, so when I touch to that end, the pitch is decidedly lower. If I then get the other end and join them together, so now wired in parallel, the resistance will be half of the 47k. The pitch should be much higher. So, with that in line, with that in mind, if I take one of these resistors back off again, so I can measure it individually, I can compare it to any resistor out of our box of resistors that my colleague has provided me with, and I should be able to tell you roughly whether the value of the unknown resistor is greater than or less than the value of this known resistor, this 47k ohm. So, that's the pitch of the 47k ohm, and this unknown resistor here, Mm, that's higher, I think. Yeah. The pitch is higher, but not by much, so the resistance of this resistor is less than that one, but not by much. I would say if this is 47 k ohm, this is going to be about 30 k ohm. So what I'll do is I'll just bring my multimeter in. I'll just place that there so we can see the display on camera and I'll pick up this resistor move my hand out of the way of the multimeter and it's 21 k ohm yeah that's going to be a 22 k ohm resistor when you take the tolerance into account so that's pretty cool so there's just one other way that you can use the draw deal kit. I hope you've had fun making this project and I hope you come back for more projects that we're going to be building here at protopic.co.uk